Hey guys, welcome back to the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. So, this is going to be continuing with the theme of what we've been going on so far. We've done the Garden Ops. We're going to go to... we did Team Vanquish yesterday. So today we're doing Gardens and Graveyards. Now, um, this time it's basically... A, it's kind of like Garden Ops, in a way. Uh, it's almost a kind of capture the control point thing, except one team is attacking, one team is defending. More specifically, the plants are defending and the zombies are attacking. Okay, the golf club's a good one to do because you can see the optional objectives. Um, basically, the idea is that the zombies have dropped somewhere uh, or have decided that they want to fight the plants for some reason or whatever it is that they're trying to do. Now, the plants start with a garden. Now, the zombie's objective is to turn that into a graveyard, and you do that by capturing a control point, which is literally just like any other game. Stand around near it, and uh, slowly you'll take it over. Now, the zombies are timed to do this, so the plant's objective is to defend it long enough that the zombies run out of time. The zombie's objective is to take it before they run out of time. Now, certain levels, like the Cactus Canyon, this one here, will have a bonus objective at the end, so near the end of this level, you have to push a giant golf ball. Uh, I'm going to try and switch teams. Oh, oh no. No, okay, fine, I guess I'll be a zombie. Um, yeah, so the uh, the objective at the end of this is to push a golf ball down the hole, and um, basically, yeah, that, that will... Uh, win the game for you. Now some... Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it is 12 people per team and that's it. So, 24 people. Now, a little heads up for um, Gardens and Graveyards. The best class that you could possibly go for if you want to earn yourself some fairly straightforward points is uh, the Engineer. Because the Engineer can build uh, teleporters, gun turrets, all sorts of madness. Now, also with the gun turrets, the teleporters will allow your friends to uh, teleport in. Effectively, it's that simple. Uh, but at the same time, you can also, around the teleporter, build turrets, like this one. Look at his happy little face. You can then upgrade him if you so wish. I'm getting shot at. I didn't really do anything about that to try and save myself. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, that, you get the idea. The engineer, basically, you can get a whole butt ton of points just simply by building stuff um, and uh, pretty much just kind of helping the team rather than getting the kills. However, uh, it's also worth mentioning on this mode too that you don't need to worry about trying to revive your teammates so much. I mean, you can do if you're in the control point and they're there and you want to get them up and stuff, that's fine. But um, primarily, you're not going to change the score of the match or anything like that, unlike with Team Vanquish where you can kind of retrieve lost points through kills. Uh, so, pretty much the objective there. We've taken the first, uh, we've taken the first point. Now everybody will fall back. Um, well, that's the plan anyway, and we will chase them down. Now, I'm going to try and get to this teleporter and build it to get myself 100 points. And get shot in the spine, because I'm just rushing through it. Haha! -ha! So, anyway, I'm going to do what I did before uh, with the previous episodes. I'm going to speed up the footage, we're going to put some music over the top, and I will drop in at various points with words of wisdom, failures, little jokes, I mean, you know, whatever happens. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will catch you on the other end. Ah, see, now this is a zombie summoning point. Now, I do have some of these. Exactly the same as the plant pots uh, in Garden in garden Ops. Uh, but basically, you can stand next to it, you can choose to summon a zombie. And there you go, you can see there, you just summoned a conehead zombie. Ta-da! Oh, and the other thing as well, this health regen thing. This isn't exclusive to me. This is something that will happen. Uh, basically, if you are dying, you give it a few seconds, and then basically your health will start to regenerate on its own. You'll regenerate up to half health, basically, is, is where you'll get to, without any kind of healing assistance or anything like that. That's what will happen. Uh, I'm going to leave him to upgrade that turret, and I want to get some more turrets here around the teleporter, because oh, look at that, team of qualified engineers. Well, as qualified as zombies can be, I suppose. There you go, we're going to upgrade it. Oh no! I upgraded the turret though, I suppose. There he is, look, the Jaminator. Oh, thank you. Now, the scientist is the healer on the uh, zombie team, and the sunflower is the healer on the plants team. Which, again, I'll come to you later on as well. So, um, basically, yeah, I'm going to drop back out. Okay, here we go. This is the capture point. Um, uh, you just got to see a glimpse of it before I got blown up by that guy. Uh, now, this is the idea. You're supposed to get inside that green circle and just basically stay there and try and take it over. And the other end of the teleporter that has been built should be just over here. This is the other thing as well, if you're an engineer and you build a teleporter, every time someone uses it, except for yourself, you get 10 points. Oh no, even if you do use it yourself. There you go. So let's go and try to take a capture point, catch you guys soon.
The thing with gardens and graveyards is that the map will change as you take over certain control points. So, for example, that teleporter that was here now is gone, uh, and the area of the map up here is now open to move on to the next control point. Now, what I will try and do, if I can get through the madness of the battlefield, I'll try and get to the other side, uh, and you'll see the path you have to follow is not yet open because we haven't taken this control point. It's quite cool. It's a fairly intuitive system that changes as you play, which is pretty sweet. Oh, chomper, chomper, chomper. You may also notice that the plants can again build plant pots on this mode as well to try and defend their bases. I managed to take out a couple of them there so hopefully uh, that means that my guys can kind of get in there a bit better. The plants seem to have just kind of stopped us at this point basically so um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. And there you are, that's what happens if you go out of bounds. <laughs> you get five seconds and then you die. Unfortunately, I went the wrong way around the uh, motel, so there you are. However, once we take this capture point, that area around the back there will be accessible and um, we will be able to go down there, so that's pretty cool. We need some covering fire.
Now, there will always be overtime at the end of a game like that if there are people of the enemy team in your base. There you are, so that's as far as we got. Now, again, there you go. You can see we lost, but I got 7,000 coins. So, um, you can see which one so far has the most coin payout, basically. Uh, so, that's it for this one. That is Gardens vs. Graveyards. Basically, you can see the point now. You have to capture the points. Uh, capture the control gardens or graveyards or whatever it is that you're playing as. If you're zombies, capture them. If you're plants, defend them. It's that simple. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow for some more Plants vs. Zombies fun. We're going to carry on with the ultimate guide. Um, and don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Or subscribe as well to guarantee yourself the first view of the next episode. Cheers for watching, guys. Catch you soon.